everybody, it's Crystal. So today, I'm going to show you how to make this hooded scarf here. <clears throat> With pockets. Now, it's not hard to make. It does mess my hair up a bit, though. You will need to adjust it for uh, the length. Now, you see me in the photos. I am five foot three, okay? So, my the pockets are on the side here. You can put them on the top if you want. I talk about that in the video. But this is how it goes on me, and I'm five three. Now, if you're making it for someone taller who or has longer arms, you know, of course, you're probably going to need to adjust the length of the scarf part. To your liking but i will give you the measurements uh, the, all the measurements that you need to make one just like this and then you can decide how much longer you want to make it but this is what it looks like i think it turned out pretty pretty good it's nice and warm you gotta give me that what do you guys think you like it i like it it's easy to make um i made it with uh it's made with the moss stitch but we can't see it that well pockets on the side like I said so what do you say now I think even a bit of beginner can do this as long as you know the basic stitches <laughs> you can do it let's go ahead and get started on it. okay here's what it looks like up close so what we do is we make the scarf and the hood separate and then we sew the hood up and we sew the pockets up and then we sew the hood on the scarf last okay now, um, remember I did say that if you have longer arms than me, you might need to make it a bit longer. But um, whenever the time comes, I do go over the measurements. I'll just go ahead and do it real quick here. The scarf is about 8 inches wide itself. And then um, with the pockets folded up. So with the pockets folded up right now, the scarf measures 55 inches. Um, when you get, whenever you get to the point of the video, I will tell you how long it measures without the pockets folded. That way you can adjust to your liking there. I don't remember quite what it was, but let's go ahead. Let me move this big thing and get started on this. Okay, for this project, I used a Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick. This is the bonus bundle. So there are... 174 yards and it's a super bulky number six it is an acrylic wool blend now it took me this is my fourth one of these so you're going to need if you choose to use a super bulky six you don't have to use this brand but say you want to follow along with me and you want to use the super bulky six you're going to need about 625 yards or this is what i have left in my fourth roll of one of these jumbo jumbo ones uh, but of course any super bulky six will work now you can definitely do it in a uh, whatever way to yarn that you want you I'll tell you the multiple of the chain and you just need to adjust it to make it the same uh, width as mine and the same length as mine other than that it's it's pretty easy to adjust to any size yarn um, and then I'm going to be using for the bulky six I'm using an N which is a nine millimeter some ends are 10 millimeters depending on what a hook brand you have that's fine too now if you choose to go down to a four weight yarn i would recommend a six millimeter crochet hook okay for the scarf now this stitch is done in a multiple of two now remember if you're using a different size yarn you might have to chain more to make it uh, remember mine measures about eight inches wide but I'm going to start with a chain of 20 for mine all right once you get your chain of 20 made what we're going to do is we are going to slip stitch in the second stitch from the hook I know this yarn's dark but it's a pretty easy stitch like that and then we're going to do a half double crochet into the next stitch so yarn over go into the next stitch and half double and that is the repeat now slip stitch into the next stitch and half double into the next slip stitch into the next stitch and half double into the next slip stitch 
and half double. And this is what we do until we get to the end of the row. Flip, half double. How easy is this? Slip stitch, half double. I'm just going to keep going because I'm almost to the end. And you can definitely make yours wider than eight inches. I mean, you can make it as wide as you want. Just remember it's done in a multiple two. And you just repeat the slip stitch half double until you get to the end. Now you should end in a slip stitch on row one. Your last stitch should be a slip stitch. And you should have 19 stitches now. Following, following with me. And that should be about eight inches or so. Okay, now row number two is the repeat row for the rest of the pattern. So what we're gonna do is chain one. Now that chain one is going to count as a stitch, okay? Remember, this chain one is going to count as a stitch. So we are gonna skip this very first stitch and we're gonna work into the next stitch. So since that chain one counts as a stitch, we're skipping the very first one and in the next one, we're gonna work a slip stitch. Now the next stitch we are going to work a half double crochet and then we're going to work a slip stitch and then we're going to work a half double and a slip stitch. half double and a slip stitch all the way until we get to the end of the row half double slip stitch might as well keep going I'm almost there <laughs> half double slip stitch it does work out pretty quick when you're using the thicker yarns Now, on row two, and from every row from now on, your last stitch is going to go into that uh, the the chain one turn chain, and, and it will always be a half double crochet at the end, like that. And you'll have 19 stitches, and that's counting that chain one at the beginning we said was a stitch. Count that one. You'll have 19. So now it's just a repeat of row two. So we chain one. I was chained kind of loose since that chain one counts as a stitch and turn our work. So we don't go into this very, very first stitch. We go into the next and we start with a slip stitch and then a half double and a slip stitch and a half double. So from now on with this row and all the rest of the rows, what you're doing is every time there was a slip stitch from the previous row, you put, another, you put a slip stitch on top of it. And then when there was a half double crochet, you put a half double crochet on top of that. Slip stitch, half double. So it wasn't like that in the first row, but here from here on out it is. Slip stitch on top of this slip stitch, half double on top of this half double. Slip stitch, half double. So that's how you can kind of remember where you're at. Every time there was a slip stitch, it gets another slip stitch into it. And then every time there was a half double crochet in the previous row, it gets a half double crochet on top of it. Slip stitch, half double, slip stitch. And remember, we always end in the turn chain with a half double crochet. Counting that chain one at the beginning, you'll have 19 stitches. And that's it, that's what we're gonna do until we get it the length that we want it to be. Chain one and turn, skip this very first stitch, and in this stitch here, we start with a slip stitch. So I'm going to keep repeating this. Slip stitch, half double, slip stitch, half double, until I get the scarf as the length that I want it to be. Okay, 
for the scarf. Using this six weight yarn, I did 162 rows and it measures a length of approximately 70 inches. So if you're using a smaller weight yarn, that's about the length that you wanna try to get. 70, 72 inches, something like that. Um, all right, so now we're gonna go ahead, before we sew the hood on, we will, let's sew up the pockets. <clears throat> so on this one, it doesn't really matter which is the right side and which is the wrong side because both sides look the same. But for the pockets, what we're gonna do is Get your piece in front of you here. I'm gonna go up. You can make your pockets as big as you want. I'm gonna try to show you the best that I can. Now I'm gonna fold it up like this. Okay, so I made a fold in it. Of approximately eight inches okay now I'm going to sew it up along this side and the top leaving the side exposed so your hand can go into the side now a lot of people sew up these two sides and make it where your hand can go into the top that's definitely an option if you want to do that but I'm gonna make it where my hand will go into the side so I will be sewing up this side and the top side leaving this side open so my hand can go in the side now i'm going to sew up the pockets using a yarn needle and a piece of yarn okay now remember you can make the pockets as big as you want i made i drew mine up to where it's approximately an eight inch size pocket but you remember you can do yours bigger if you want now i have some yarn on the yarn needle i actually just used this tail but you can just use whatever you have now just kind of use a row here to guide you where to sew and just neatly sew the top of the pocket back and forth that's what i'm going to do i'm not going to go over and over i'm just going to go up from the bottom and then back down as neatly as possible well, now my yarn being as dark as it is is a forgiving yarn if you're using a yarn that's a bit lighter than mine you want to make sure you do it as neat as possible. I still try to do mine as neat as possible, even though I'm using a dark yarn. And I'm using this row, a row to guide me. Just like that that's what I'm gonna do nice and neat so I'm gonna go all the way across the top and then I'm gonna sew all the way down this side and then only this side will be open so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that so here neatly and then sew this up neatly the same way okay I've made it all the way down the side here and now what I'm gonna do is just kind of weave my tail in a little bit maybe You know, so it's not so, you could go back down it again, I guess, real quick, if you wanted to, but I'm just going to kind of weave it down the side. And then you'll clip that off, and then you'll have your pocket made. I'm going to go ahead and take that for now. But see, now your top is sewed, your side is sewed, and you got your side pocket. Now we'll do the other one, and you want to make sure that you do it to where the opening is on the same side as this one. So here the opening is up here. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom of the other side. And I will flip it up approximately about the same, about 8 inches. Just use my measure, use your measuring tape and get it about, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but try to get it about the same size as pocket as the other one. 8 inches is what I want mine. Remember, whatever size you decided on your pocket to be, you can do it. Okay, and now the this is the front, so I'm going to want to sew this 
side and this side. Just remember to make sure that it's sewn on the, the side pockets are both um, on the same side. We don't want to have an accident. And so, so, so them opposite, believe me, I've done it. It's no fun <laughs> to take it out. Especially when it's, since I'm working with the wool yarn, that's even worse. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and sew up this pocket the same way we sewed the other one. Across the top. And then down this long side and then I'll have the pocket facing the same way as the other one just remember to make sure to try to get them as even as possible so yeah that's pretty close okay I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this side sewing up this pocket okay now the hood is done the exact same way except for we start with a chain of 70 okay so make it the exact same way that we made the scarf except start if you're following along with me you have this big yarn you start with a chain of 70. otherwise uh the width of my um chain the width of my chain when i chain 70 should be approximately 31 inches in case you're using a smaller yarn okay i have my hood here now i have done a total of 31 rows so far and I'm going to do one more row of single crochet at the end to make a total of 32. But I'm going to give you a quick measurement. So in case, because if you're using a smaller weight yarn, like a four weight, you're definitely going to need um, it bigger. So a long ways, you're going to need more rows. It measures approximately 31 inches. And then this way measures approximately 12 inches now when I get this last row on it's going to be about 12 and a half so that's what you're going to need about 31 by 12 and a half if you're using a smaller weight yarn so for, but if you're using the sixth weight for my like me for the 30 30 second row what I'm going to do is chain one and turn my work and I'm just going to do single crochet all the way across. But you know how we've been skipping this very first stitch and working into this one? We're not going to do that this time. We're going to go right back into that first stitch and single crochet. And now I'm just going to work one row of single crochet all the way across just to finish the hood. Give it a finishing edge. Just like that so I'm gonna work one single in every stitch until I get to the end of the row all right I made it to the end there and I just went ahead and tied off now we're gonna sew the hood up now when we start sewing this all together <clears throat> it's not hard to sew it together the most important thing is just to make sure that we get the seams on the on the scarf and the and the hood on the correct sides so here is the last row of single crochet and it is facing right side up right now so what we're gonna do is flip our work like this and we are going so we the right side of our single crochet is facing up you just fold your piece in half like that and then turn it a long ways so this should be your beginning row that you started with. This will be the ending single crochet row and now it will be facing the wrong side. That's what you want. And that way after we're done seaming it up, we can flip it right side out. This will be facing out again and the seam will be on the inside. So this is your beginning row. This is the row of single crochet that we just put on, but it is facing a wrong side. So we will sew up this long side here to get the hood. And then later we will sew this down here onto the scarf. But first let's go ahead and sew up this hood. So I'm gonna start and what I'm gonna do is just slip stitch it together. Let me pull my thing down a little bit. So I'm just gonna start at the bottom here. This is where we tie it off. 
just a while ago. I'm going to go into that first stitch, and then I'm going to go into the first stitch over here. And start my yarn. I'm going to chain one. Now I'm going to go into the next stitch on this piece, and the next stitch on the back piece, and slip stitch. Again, the next stitch on this piece, and the next stitch on the back piece, and slip stitch. And I'm going to do this all the way up my hood until I get up to the top. Just slip stitching it together. The next stitch on this piece, and then you go back here to the back, and you grab the next stitch on that piece that hasn't been worked yet, and slip stitch. So it's pretty, pretty easy here once you get the hang of it. Now, if you prefer to sew it together, if it's easier for you to do that, that's fine too. As long as it gets sewn up. And we're going to do this all the way to the top. Just like that. And just finish that until you get all the way up here to the point. Or to the end here. Okay, once you make it to the top here, just give a little stretch there at the seam and clip your yarn. And then pull that through and we'll have to hide that tail. But first, you want to go ahead and flip your hood right side out now. And the seam will be on the inside. Like that. See that nice seam in the back there? Looks good. Nice and clean. That's what we want. And then our row of single crochet is now facing right side up. So that is the hood portion of our piece. All right. I, now we're going to sew the hood on and we need to make sure we sew it on the right, the right side. So I'm going to give you... You want to lay your piece out like this, where the pockets are facing you. See, here's my pocket. One is facing me right now, and this one is facing me. We are going to sew the hood back here, okay? So, pockets facing you. Now, what we want to do is mark out a spot for the hood. So, I kind of just do it by measuring it. So, right now, from pocket to pocket, it's, my piece is going to be shorter because I made pockets. It measures about 52 inches. So we're going to want to go in about 26 inches. And that will be about our center point. Okay. So we'll go ahead and um, use a stitch marker and mark that off. This is approximately our center point. Okay, and you can go ahead and measure if you want again. There's 26, and yeah, it's about 26. So just to, you know, measure yours and find your center. I might bring mine over just a little bit more. It's about 26 and a half. Okay, so there's my center. Now, remember, both your open the, the open parts of the pockets have to be facing you right now. See that? Let's sew on our hood. So now what we do is we take, we're going to use a yarn needle and a piece of yarn. Here's our hood. Here is the back side of the hood, but the right side of it is facing us. See that nice clean seam? There's the inside of the hood where we slip stitched. Leave that on the inside. We're going to sew it like this across. Now I'm going to take that seam and I'm going to match it up with the middle here that I just marked. And then I'm going to sew across with a yarn needle and a piece of yarn and trying to keep it as even as possible. So this is the back side of the hood, but the right side of it is facing me. Okay. This is the top of my, <clears throat> of my scarf and my arms are in front of me. See that? Here's where I put my hands. 
we're going to sew it on the top here using the same same method yarn needle and a piece of yarn if you want to slip stitch i mean you can but i'm going to go i think it would be easier just to use the yarn needle for this part what i'm going to do is start at the center and work one way and then go back and work the other way that way i know i'm not messing things up i tend to mess things up so match your seam up here the center of your hood with where you match the center of your scarf you know it doesn't have to be perfect of course it's not going to be perfect flip them up like that once you got it matched up you could remove that stitch marker and we're just going to sew it together like we sewed the pockets back and forth You want to do it nice and neat. Try not to get like too deep in there. As far as don't go like real far in there with the stitches, you know, just nice and shallow. So you you still want your piece to lay flat in the back. So kind of just grab the top of the stitches here. Like this. <clears throat> let me check it out here in just a second and make sure this is what we want to do there you go see when you push down on it it's still going to lay flat in the back like that so I'm going to go ahead and finish sewing up this side remember we're going down this way and then back up the other way just gathering the tops of the stitches on each side. Don't go extremely deep in or you're going to have a... When I say don't go extremely deep in with your needle, I mean don't go like that. Because then you're going to have this big thick opening at the top. Try to keep it light at the top. But make sure you gather enough stitches that's going to hold. Just gathering the tops of those stitches will be good enough. So I'm going to do this all the way across. And then what I'll do, once I'm done, I'll just tie it off. And then I'll go back and start, um, and then I'll work this way and get the other side sewed up. And then we'll check it out, try it on, see what it looks like. Of course, after I hide all my tails. You want to check it period, you know, every so often to make sure it's laying flat. Make sure you're not going in too deep. Yep. Nice, nice. If you can, you can try to keep your low rows lined up the best you can. See that? How they're kind of lined up there. But of course, it's with my dark yarn, it's not going to be very much seen. But if you're using a different collar, you know, you could try to keep those lined up the best as you can. But it's in the bag, so if it's not lined up completely, it's okay. So, I'm just going to keep going. Got a knot there. So, in this way... And then I'm going to sew this other side on real quick. Okay, I got my seam or my hood all sewed up in here. And my seam, I think, looks pretty good. I matched it up pretty well in the back. The reason why I sewed it um, on the outside of the hood like this, because when you flip it over, I think the seam is more noticeable. On the inside, it puts a ridge there. That was just my preference. Um, that way, that seam there is on the inside. That's why we I chose to sew it on the right side of the work like that because this is the outside this is the right side and I think the seam looks pretty good all my rows are pretty well lined up that's it after you uh hide all your tails you got a hood scarf with pockets facing the right way I hope okay once you get done it's finished all finished I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. It's kind of big. I can't show you, so you have to look at those pictures there. But please don't forget to uh, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. If you're able to follow along, okay? Don't forget to check me out on uh, Facebook and Instagram. Also, put links to that stuff below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. And I'm going to put a playlist over there on the right-hand side of the screen of all my other scarves um maybe you want to take a quick look through there maybe you'll find something else that you want to make so until next time have a good day